Hello, first graders. This is Unit 5, Session 12. So today we're going to be talking a lot about what's called a capital letter, which means an uppercase letter. And when you're writing, there are certain times you use an uppercase or a capital, and there are certain times you don't. And so one of the ways you can learn how where to use them and where not to use them is to look for to experts, to see people who you know know how to use it properly, see how they've written it, and then you'll know how to write it. So today we're going to read a letter that Rashid wrote to me last uh, this morning when I came upstairs. Okay, and so um, we're going to look at his letter. We're going to see where he used uppercases, and then we'll see if we can figure out all the great spots to put uppercases, okay? So I'm going to move Rashid over a little bit so you can see the letter really super well. And let's read this all together. Okay, I'm going to move that back just a wee bit, just like that. Perfect. Okay, so let's read this together. It says, Wednesday, May 27th, 2020. So that's this morning. Dear first graders, last night... I got a little hungry after Mrs. Chasman went to sleep. I didn't want to wake her up. He's so thoughtful. So I went into the kitchen to see what there was to eat. I found some Ben and Jerry's ice cream in the freezer. Boy, was I excited. I ate all of the Cherry Garcia pint of ice cream. Yummy. Then I got all warm in my blanket from Target and I fell fast asleep. Boy, do I love ice cream. Your friend, Rashid. Okay? So what I want you to notice is I want you to start seeing where do you see uppercases, okay? And if you see an uppercase, I want you to point it out. I'm going to start at the very beginning so we can see it. That's right. You might have noticed Wednesday up here, that's an uppercase. Days of the week need to be uppercase. Also, May, that's a month, that's uppercase. So we've got, let me write here. I'm gonna write right on here, days of the week. Days of week, can you see that? Yeah, I think so. Week and days and, and um, months of the year. Those need to be uppercase, okay? All the days of the week and the months, okay? Then we have dear, this D and first graders, that's your, it's like your name, right? So the the beginning, the word dear in a, in a letter is always uppercase. And then the, whoever it's written to is going to be uppercase as well. Because it's like, this is first graders, that's like your name in the situation. If, if it were just to you, it might be, you know, dear Maya or dear Ava or whatever, whatever your name would be. Then the other one we have here is we have the L in last night. And we have the I and we have the M in Mrs. and the C in Chasman, okay? So the L in last night needs to be uppercase because that's the beginning of the sentence and always the beginning of the sentence you have an uppercase. The word I always is uppercased. So we'll say um, beginning of sentence, begin sentence. When you're speaking about yourself, I is always, when it's the word, is always uppercase. And then names are always uppercase, okay? Let's see what else we have. We have another I here. I didn't want to wake her up, so I went to the kitchen to see what there was to eat. I, there's another I, found some Ben, B, and Jerry's ice cream in the freezer. Now, Ben and Jerry's, why do you think those are uppercases? They're also names, and it's the name of a particular ice cream company, okay? Boy... That's the beginning of the sentence. Was I excited? Oh, I again. I ate all the Cherry Garcia pint of ice cream. Now, why is, why is the C and Cherry and the G and Garcia uppercase? That's right. Their names again. That's the name of that particular ice cream. It's very yummy if you've never had it. All right. And then, um, yeah, why in yummy? Then T. Then I got I. Got all warm my blanket from the uppercase T in Target. Why is that one uppercase? That's right. It's the proper name of a store. If I had, if he had just said blanket from the store and I fell asleep, that the store would not have been uppercase. But because it was a particular store, it was a pro, it's called a proper noun. That is uppercase. Okay. B and boy, do I love ice cream. And then this is the, the salutation, meaning the ending of your sentence, your letter. And this says, if you were to do like sincerely or fondly, or I did your, or he did your friend here, 
Y and the F both need to be uppercase. Um, that's just one of those, that's like an, an end of the letter thing that you do need to uppercase those. And then Rashid needs to be uppercase because it's a name. Okay, so if you look here in your packet that we've given you, you'll see two papers that help. This one says, this gives you ideas of how to study an expert. Okay, so this is just if you're trying to understand how to use something more properly, look to the experts, look to books that you have written and see how they use the words and how they use punctuation. Here, this is all about capital letters. So this is what we just started, to, this is what we just talked about. Um, dates need to be uppercase, the name of a person place, uh, name of a person or a place need to be uppercase, start or the ending of a letter need to be uppercase, the, the word I needs to be uppercase, and the start of sentences. So this is what we just covered here in this letter, okay? So if you're confused about any uppercases, this is a good paper, think, paper to consult. But the other thing you can do is, you know, go and look at a source that you really trust, a book that has been published or um, a, a trustworthy website. Sometimes websites are a little bit wrong, so be a little careful there. But, um, but most books have it properly done because there's, when someone writes a book, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but then there's an editor. And the editor makes sure that they're all the uppercases in the right places and the punctuation's in the right place. And it's us they're usually pretty, they're pretty accurate. Alrighty, so this is just a good little, these are just good little things to remember. We realize that when you're doing your writing, boys and girls, it's often really hard to remember which one's uppercase, which one's lowercase, and where to put them all. That's a hard thing to, to remember when you're writing. So when you're doing your actual writing, don't worry so much about it. But then after you've written everything you want to write, go back and do that editing thing. Fix it. So and all you have to do is like, let's pretend... I wrote this and I forgot to write the D uppercase for dear first graders. If I had written just dear first graders, then I went back and looked at it and said, oh no, I messed up. I should have written an uppercase. You could just cross it out and write an uppercase or another a really fancy technique that's um, a proofreading technique is that you can underline it three times and that means you know that that was supposed to be uppercase, but you just messed up. Okay, so you could cross it out and rewrite it. I'm sorry. Or you could put three lines under it. But that, that way, when you're actually doing your writing, you don't have to worry about, oh, no, have I forgotten an uppercase or a lowercase? But that way, you can go back and check it later and make sure you get it right. Because it does matter. You do want to make sure it's correct eventually. But, um, but when you're first writing, it's hard, to, it's hard to remember all that stuff. Okay? And probably the, the most important one for you guys to really work on this year is the beginning of a sentence start with an uppercase because then the reader says, oh, this is a new sentence just in case you forgot to put a period or something before that. And the word I, try to make sure you always get the word I uppercase. That's a really important one. A lot of people forget to do that. And people's names. If you could remember the, these three going into moving into second grade, you'll be pretty good to go. You just have to learn a few more. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.